Hey y'all, it's Andrea here at VW Family Farm. We are outside planting, again, planting more stuff. I love this time of year. It seems like it's something to plant all the time. So Grower Solution, uh, we have gotten some apple trees from them. We, I think we've got three apple trees, a raspberry bush and a blueberry bush that I need to get in the ground. So Ben is gonna help me. We're gonna get these put in the ground and then we've got a lot to accomplish because there is lots of changes, lots of exciting stuff coming to the farm in the next week or so. We could dig the holes by hand, but when you have a friend's track hoe here for a minute, you take full advantage of it. This is the only way to dig a hole with my hoe. Natural fertilizer. Gonna put that in the bottom of the holes and give them a good start. Powder blue. Ration it, cause I don't want to go back. <laughs> you know. Sadly, is this where the cherry tree was? This is where the cherry tree was. Something broke it. Hey, what if uh, we compost? What if we compost some uh, turnips down in there too? I don't know about that. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, these are what you call teenagers. No offense, teenagers. plant this yellow delicious and hope it turns out apple right yep all these are apple all apple and hope it's yellow and delicious yeah i actually got a little too carried away with my digging i, think. I was afraid of that i wanted it to be loose soil though it's loose hey right, y'all are smacking how about you go ahead and admit you are a dickaholic i like to dig in the dirt i love operating equipment and what else what pyromaniac a pyromaniac that's correct sir do you agree i can be only if you're awake right look at that big hoss so huge we did one thing successfully didn't we Mm -hmm. Didn't we, Piggy? For some good picnic. Didn't we? <laughs> Any noise. Any little noise. Say, <laughs> they'll do this all day. What all right, say? we're on tree number two Cortland apple. Got a real nice hole prepared. Great job. The soil around it with anything close to it is definitely loose. Losing daylight quickly, but we're about to get this planted. It's another yellow delicious. And then I am going to plant this is a heritage raspberry and it is really good looking it's already got buds on it um really hoping that we'll get some raspberries that's something i've been wanting for a long time so if you guys are in the market for some trees and berry bushes and things like that check out grower solution as well as tons of other stuff uh, that just makes life on the farm and on the homestead so much easier there's always a code below to save you 10 percent use that at checkout and save yourself some money craziest thing ever we know it's getting that time of year where the ducks will start laying so we pinned them up last night in this little pen somehow they found their way out but not before they laid a bunch of eggs that is so cool 
We've been seeing a couple of duck eggs laying around the ponds. And thought, well, maybe they're laying them down in the water or something, so we're going to pin them up. And it worked. All right, it is rodeo time, y'all. Me and Lane's getting in the old baiter truck. It is calving season here. Oh, and we got a baby calf on the ground. It's a bull. We've got to go try to tag it. That's one of our objectives this year is try to tag all of our calves. That way we know who had what. And um, also that will, um, we're gonna try to keep up with anything that was born during the time period that Bruce was the only bull into, uh, into the herd. And that way we'll know it's 50-50 uh, South Pole Angus Cross. So we're gonna go tag it. We're gonna go band it. I've made a lot of improvements this uh, last two weeks to the roads around here, our parking lots. We've uh, been pretty busy around here. Let's go see. Oh, so much smoother here on the road. It's still a little bumpy, but it's a farm road. That's her, that's her. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. out on a lot of this sage grass trying to knock it down all this was like that over there but watch out cows So this right here is what you will get out of good management. That's new clover coming on. This right here, we have really uh, focused on this area. High intensity, 
mob grazing, rotational grazing out here. We're working on that side. So you can see a difference in that field. The hot wire is right there at the water trough and this field. It's a slow process, but it is definitely, definitely working. After we do that field, this next year, we're gonna focus back here on the back part of that field. It is really, really, really thick in sage, broom sedge, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, just the, uh, the ground is not super rich, dense in nutrients. So that will be our next uh, big area to work with on rolling out this hay and really getting them to, uh, to graze heavily and put out a lot of uh, carbon, I guess you'd say, poo, whatever you want to call it, out on the field. It has been a busy day around here. I don't know what all Ben showed you, but he's been busy. Emily and I wound up, we processed five turkeys. The guys came in and wound up helping us finish it up because it was a job. Processing turkeys is nothing like chickens. They're bigger, it was more difficult to pluck and clean and just all the things were more difficult. But we got it done. Um, so we've got three of them put up. We kept two hens and a tom and so that we have um, our future stock that's kind of what we wanted all along was to raise them and let them get big and mature and then pick which ones we wanted to keep for our little flock so that's what we've done that's all we're keeping is just a small little flock and then we process the rest because they were running around fighting with pepper um, they were chasing us literally around the yard uh, they had turned a little bit mean so got that done. Also, I think Ben told you guys that we are trying to get some red heifers. We're trying to uh, do some selling of some of our black ones and some trading and get some red Angus and some just more red genetics in so that they can cross well with our South Pole bull. So Ben's been hard at work at that. Guys are working. Almost done. Almost done. He is finishing up the brooder. We'll follow you over there. Feel like you're being followed yeah that video will be coming out asap pretty Somet soon sometime next week yep depending on when we get the chicks so you can lane just passed me he's ducking out of the camera but him and ben are working on finishing the brooder they have worked their tails off literally on this thing days and days of work but we have made this brooder very very cost effectively very cheap um, it's just stuff that other people might not even want and we have turned I feel like trash into treasure with this thing it was graciously given to us by someone who just wanted rid of it and it helped us out too so that was a win-win and then Ben has taken it you can see he's cut the hole in there put a door in it he's done all kinds of stuff to make this an ideal brooder so he's gonna have a video like he said on all the things that he's done and we're getting chicks this week it's an exciting week it's our first batch for this year we're getting 600 of them don't show it so we're really excited about that uh, just things are happening around here we actually trapped the ducks the other night and came out because we were pretty sure those ducks were laying so you can see them waddling away they come up and come around that fence and go up over there in the yard and then that's where you saw the eggs so all I know is maybe they were laying in the pond. I've heard of that happening of them swimming around and just laying them because we got 15 duck eggs that morning that we got eggs and we have found none out there around the pond and in the areas they frequent. So we're thinking maybe if we can just trap them just at night and them lay their eggs, then they can still go out and free range and swim and do all the things because they're really good about staying close by but we do want some eggs we've been eating them and they are pretty tasty so i know this video isn't super long but that's a few of the things we've got going on along with cranking up the garden you saw us getting potatoes and onions planted and strawberries and all that and the green stalk is doing amazing i love the design of it and the watering system that's one thing i mentioned to y'all in that video and it is working out fantastic it's keeping it watered without flooding certain layers it's just it's a pretty genius design so i am going to be getting me a few more of those and sprucing it up around here a little bit this year so 
anyway that's what's going on here we will see you guys this is a huge week for us we may be making a trip later this week to go get some sure enough true blue 100 percent south pole heifers we're really excited about that that will be the beginning of our permanent future herd it's a dream of ours so we're really excited about that so stick with us subscribe if you haven't don't miss anything that's going on and we put out a little video this weekend but we are able to ship meat to you guys now so we're really pumped about that um we can we're only shipping like certain boxes right if there's other things you're interested in shoot us a message we'll try to get it to you um, or get you a price and you can choose if you want it also on the like first page you come to when you go to our store like if you go to our website and press shop it'll take you to like the opening page of our products and different things over on the left hand side of the screen there's a place it wants you to put in your zip code bypass that just add what you're wanting to your cart and then it'll give you all your options that is to tell you what your delivery options are for like me bringing it to your house if you're interested in shipping leave that section alone and just add it to your cart and go from there if you have any trouble please shoot us a message um, and our website is vwfamilyfarm.com see you guys on the next one thanks for watching god bless